So what we recommend is a simple diet, a diet doesn't, that doesn't need nutrition labels. Have you ever noticed, you look at some of these uh, food products and you find there's a nutrition label there and it tells you how many calories. It tells you how much salt, how much sugar. It tells you how much fiber. It's all there. But let me give you some suggestion here. If you want to live a healthier and happier life, if you want to be well, if you want to reverse heart disease and many of these chronic diseases, begin to shift more towards dietary products. Shift more towards foods that don't have a nutrition label. Example. Have you ever taken a look at a tomato? Do you find a nutrition label on a tomato? No. Have you ever looked at tomato ketchup? Do you find a nutrition label there? Yeah, it says on it. Have you ever found a nutrition label on a potato? You won't find it. How about potato chips? There you find them. Have you ever found uh, a nutrition label on corn? You buy some ears of corn, corn as it comes to us in nature, no nutrition label. You look for some corn chips, nutrition label. Why? Because nutritionists have learned that when you refine products, usually you add too many things or you take too many things that are important out of the food itself. And so the consumer has become made aware. The consumer can learn which products are too high in salt or too high in sugar or too high in calories and can make some um, intelligent choices. But when you, when you zero in on foods as grown, simple foods, fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grain products, when you zero in on lentils and uh, beans, you don't have to worry too much about getting too much of some of these things are not enough. Nature seems to know how to balance things out. But once you get into the area of processing foods, there is a dietary change taking place. And furthermore, we have to recognize that the American diet, the Western diet, has been dramatically changing in the area of animal products. We have seen in the last 100 years an almost doubling of the intake of animal products. And of course, animal products are largely the source of cholesterol, the only source of cholesterol. And furthermore, most of the animal products are fairly high in fat. So when you look at a sausage, you may have 80% of the calories in that sausage coming from fat, not in your best interest. Fat, you wear it you carry it. When you look at sirloin steak next time, just think about it. It's not so much the protein that you have been brainwashed to think about. When you look, think about this sirloin steak, you're looking at a 75% fat glob right there. 